people because we put a time on God. You know, we, we don't tarry, we don't wait on God. But when the spirit is moving, you don't put a time on God because God wants us to get in the praise. Amen. He wants us to worship him. Amen. And I thank God because there's something about the name of Jesus. When you call
see the goodness of the Lord. And I was at the gas station pumping gas. And I said, man, God is good. And the person said, I don't see where God is good. Oh, yeah. I said, you don't see where God is good. Man, you just got out of your climate control truck. <laughs> pumping $60 worth of gas. With, with about a thousand dollars worth of gold teeth in your mouth. And you can't see the goodness of the Lord. What? <laughs> Come on, man. And then don't see it. It's, I don't see where God is good. Oh, no. But God's been good to you. Hallelujah. Oh, you got eyes. Huh? Hallelujah. Yes, you didn't wake up dead. Yes. <laughs> you didn't wake up. God's been good to you. Hallelujah. Yes. Psalmist, hallelujah, David. Glory to God. Psalmist said, I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. What the song writer said, search all over, couldn't find nobody. It's unsearchable. Say, one generation shall praise thy words tell them. That means you gonna tell it, and my grandkids gonna tell it, and they gonna tell their great great, they're gonna talk about how great our good God is. Hallelujah. They shall declare to one another, hallelujah. And they shall declare what thy mind is. I will speak of thy glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous work. And men shall speak of thy mighty and thy terrible acts. And I will declare thy what greatness. They shall be, uh, they shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great what? Goodness. Of thy great what? Goodness. Of thy great what? Goodness. And shall sing of thy what? Righteousness. The Lord is what gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and great in what? Mercy. Goodness in what? Mercy. Goodness in what? Mercy. Goodness in mercy. The Lord is good to what? The Lord is good to what? That include you. You part of all. Even if you don't think so. The Lord is good to what? And is tender mercy all over what? All his work. We are all the works of his hand. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. God is good. Hallelujah. Good, good, good. Hallelujah. Yeah. She used to say, what well, camera suit is what? Good. Mm -hmm. good. <laughs> not better than Jesus. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's not better than Jesus. It might be good, mm -hmm, good, but God is oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, good. Hallelujah. Been good to you. Yeah. I had a time in my life when I struggled to see the goodness of God. Oh, that's a terrible place to be. When you can't see God's goodness and you think that everything is war and trouble in your life, that's what makes people commit suicide because they have lost sight of God's goodness. And when you lose sight of God's goodness, you lose sight of hope. And when you become hopeless, you become suicidal because nothing matters. You ain't thinking about your kids who are all in good health. You ain't thinking about that, that comfortable house that you're in. There. All you see is all the things that you don't have. You know, and I'm driving down the highway and then it's raining and all I can hear is the white people go, ain't got, ain't got, ain't got. <laughs> 
Because that's all I could see was all the stuff that I didn't have. And that's all the enemy was whispering in my ears that ain't got. You ain't got this. You ain't got that. You ain't got. And I couldn't see all the many blessings that I had in my hand, all the stuff that was before me. I couldn't see God's goodness. I was becoming suicidal. I was, well, how'd I say it? I was blessed, but I couldn't see it. Basically, I was miserably blessed. How could you be miserably blessed? I was miserably blessed. Miserable, but blessed the whole time. Because I couldn't see the goodness of God. But God is good. Yes, He is. He is good. And I struggled with that, man. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. Because every time I would be, be starting to get in my ain't got mindset, the Holy Ghost would kick it and start singing, God is good, good. And that's all I was saying. Good, good, good. And I remember they used to have the Mississippi football and then in the, the run of the song, the other day, they would just say, they would just keep saying good. You know what I'm saying? You've been good to me. Good, good, good. You've been good to me. And that's all I, that's all I had. And I would just say God is good. I would, I would say every God is good song I can. Because that Holy Ghost would kick in. And then you would go from being miserably blessed to, 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 to a high hallelujah. <laughs> a high praise hallelujah. And, you know, because you've got to be able to see the hand of God hallelujah in your life. Hallelujah. And seeing the hand of God's goodness brings strength to your life. Hallelujah. Bring joy hallelujah. Let's go to Psalm 100. Got to see it, hallelujah. In fact, let's go to Psalm 103. <laughs> Watch this. And this. This is all the things that God's goodness does, hallelujah. Psalm 103, verse 1. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, that be hey. Bless the Lord, praise him. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get straight. Hallelujah. When we praise the Lord. I'm not a hot down I am, but man, I might start off slow with my praise. All right, Lord, let's do it. Praise Him. Praise Him. Oh, praise me in the Lord. <laughs> it's not hot down and you start getting it. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. So bless the name of the Lord, oh, my soul. And all that is within me, bless His what? Holy name.
redeeming our life from destruction. Ah, hallelujah. 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 With his what? Tender mercies. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is tender mercies? Hallelujah. It's not no regular mercies. You know, I could be merciful to you, but I could be hard merciful. Well, get out of here. <laughs> I ain't going to do you that. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. that's, that, that's that kind of mercy. Get out of here, boy. I ain't going to do that to you. They be merciful, but it ain't tender. <laughs> In the verses when the child falls on the ground and they scrape their knees or they, they ever when the mother walk up to them say, come here baby, let me kiss you. Yeah. Let me heal you, baby. <laughs> That's the tender mercy. God come in, he kisses us. Hallelujah. Every morning, hallelujah. Say, his mercy is renewed. Hallelujah. He, he wakes us up with a kiss. Get up, my child. <laughs> Every morning, God wakes us up with a kiss. Tender mercies. Tender mercies. God's goodness to us. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And then he what? He graced us. Hallelujah. He graced us. Hallelujah. Grace. Hallelujah. God's righteousness at Christ's expense. <laughs> yes, he gave us Christ's righteousness. Hallelujah. At Christ's expense. Hallelujah. Grace. God's righteousness at Christ's expense. Hallelujah. A prime example of God's goodness in the Bible is Barabbas. That is the first sign of, of the trade that happened between us and God. Barabbas was guilty of a, he was on death row. I mean, instead of Christ, he was the one that was supposed to go to the cross, to the cross that day. It was him that was supposed to take the whip and the marks and all of that and get stoned and be hanging and the nails were supposed to be in Barabbas' hands. The nails were supposed to be in Barabbas' feet. He was supposed, supposed to have all those things that were done to Christ done to him. But Christ took his place. You understand? He received Christ's sentence because Christ was an innocent man. So he received Christ's righteousness at Christ's expense. All right. You get that. So that was the first sign of the interchange between us and God. We traded place. We received all that he is and he took on all that we was. You understand? We was guilty. We deserved death. We deserved to die. We deserved to receive all of those punishments for Christ. We received God's righteousness at Christ's expense. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The great trade. Hallelujah. Amen. So what is the gospel? What does the word gospel mean? Truth. What it mean? What? Good news. Good news. Good news. Not bad news. Not sad news. It means what? Good news. God told us what? To spread the message of what? The gospel of what? Jesus Christ. So we got good news about what? Jesus Christ. Good news. And what is that good news? You get all God's goodness. <laughs> you get the God that, who redeemed our life from destruction. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. That God you can have if you believe everlasting life. Didn't sin him into the world to condemn you? But he sent him to the world to save you, hallelujah. Because he don't have to condemn you. Because you were, you were born condemned. Hallelujah. So he's saving thy life from destruction. Because yes. I was guilty of all charges. Yes. <laughs> Guilt and shame. Yes. But Jesus, Jesus, with his special love, Oh, 
hallelujah. You don't have to, hallelujah, face the death penalty, hallelujah. Right. He sent his life on you. Ha, ha, ha. Everlasting life will sent his on you, hallelujah. To all those that work, believe, hallelujah. So God's been good to you. So good. So good, hallelujah. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. Huh? Why would you not accept this great, good God? Hallelujah. This awesome God who healed it, all of our diseases, who redeemed our life from structure, who forgave all your iniquities. It don't matter what you've done. Hallelujah. He forgives it all. Hallelujah. And you can experience and taste and see, oh, taste and see, that our God is what? Good for yourself. Hallelujah. And then as simple as A, B, C. Admit, believe, confess. Say this. I admit that I am a sinner, Lord, in need of a Savior, hallelujah. And I believe on the shed blood of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, that he is perpetuation, Lord, for my sin. And I confess with my mouth this day, Lord, that he is my Lord, my Savior and my Redeemer and my righteousness and holiness rest in Him and Him alone. Hallelujah. And it's just that simple. You are now the redeemed of the Lord. So say so. Jesus redeemed me. Hallelujah. Our good, great God. My Lord, by your promise, Lord, of the Holy Ghost, Lord, fill with those, Lord, who believe, Father God. Acknowledge them, Father God, hallelujah, give them your gifts, Father God, and teach them, hallelujah, through your spirit, Lord, all the things they need to know, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. So don't forget God's goodness, hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. We want to thank uh, Reverend LaQuince Meadows for that powerful Pastor LaQuince for that powerful word of God. Um, powerful word this morning. Um, aren't you glad that Jesus dropped the charges? I know I'm glad that he dropped the charges. And one thing about it, when he drop it, he don't remember it. Amen. 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 And his face and give thee peace. Yes, <laughs> yes, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and to his son, saying on this wise, You shall bless the children of Israel, the people of the world who believe in Christ, saying unto them, May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall write my name upon you and the children of Israel, and I will bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Love y'all. Take God along with you everywhere you go. You're everywhere gonna you're going to be. Thanks for joining in. Now, pray you are blessed. Hallelujah. 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 Halleluj